Hi, I'm Robin Banks, your host of Between Two Symbols. We are back somehow with a second episode, and I really didn't think we'd get this far, but, you know, I don't, I don't know what else to say about that. We're just going to keep going. I'm not even going to talk about last week's episode. Uh, this week, we have another very special guest, the one and only Ready, Set, Go, I mean, Dead Set, Dead Set Red. So I'm still having my bit right now. If you, can. it's okay. You can get it together. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Whenever, whenever y'all ready, just let me know. You know, because well, we'll, we'll, we'll maybe get to you. We'll see about that. Um, so they're gonna be talking to us about their upcoming EP release. It's their debut EP, their very first one ever. It's called A Reason to Burn, and they're also on the show with that joke of a band from last week whose name I'm not even gonna mention. And it's just gonna be a great time. Hopefully, we'll see how it goes from here, okay? So, my first guest is gonna be the drummer of the band today, Mr. Chubbs Malone. What kind of name is that? All right. <laughs> Better than I mean, Robin Banks. Hey, uh, Chubbs Malone, Dead Set Red. Uh, we got a new album coming out. You do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's Robin. an EP, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's... Uh, Tell me about it, man. It's called A Reason to Burn. Uh, we got six songs. Oh, nice, nice. That's more than the other band had. <laughs> yeah, no cheap ass, so. Yeah, I know, right? It costs like $4,000 per song, you know, to go with Brad Lambert. Jesus Christ. But, what a guy. Yeah, I mean, he, he really gave us a discount. <laughs> he but, yeah, he's worth about 40 or something. Yeah. You know, I mean, whatever you think. Yeah, I mean, he, he's seen us coming, walking down the road. Hey, these guys got banked. Anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, so it's it's six songs. Uh, our lead single off the off the record is called Matter of Time. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Matter of Time. Just a matter of time before that comes out, huh? Yeah. It's a matter yeah. of time for this interview is over, too. Sorry. Anyway, back to what you were saying. Well, I mean, Chuz Malone, what is that? What does that come from? And what is what is what is the deal with that name? That uh, that name? <laughs> I mean, you probably that? heard about me, Robin Banks, you know, like I've been doing this a long time, you yeah. know. I, I actually used to host open mic with the two dudes from uh, uh, what's the, uh, Hold On Hollywood. Yeah, y'all still haven't come very far, have you? No, no, no. we're still barely, no. barely getting by. You know, I think they bring seven people and we bring like five. Oh wow! So you know, y'all <laughs> really pumping them numbers up, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, dude. Lord. But yeah, I used to host open mic with uh, with Nick and Ian yeah. back in the day. So me and them kind of go back like reclining a little bit. Were, Ian was an ass. Let me tell you, he just talked the whole entire time on the phone, and Nick was drunk as the whole entire interview. I know, I, man. It is what it is. But anyway, we go back, like recliners, man, and uh, <laughs> like, hey, lean. Right? I, I got you. I got you. You get yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, I get, get that. But um, you got that? That's, uh, that's the next level thinking right there. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, Matter of Time, your lead single, huh? Mm -hmm. And you got this EP, A Reason to Burn, with six songs, all right? That's pretty cool, man. Mm -hmm. thank when you. Are you uh, when are y'all releasing this whole entire thing? When's the whole <laughs> going down? We're releasing... <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. Oh. Promise that. Uh, February 15th. We're gonna cut that post. That's, that's. Yeah, no, leave that. Dude, that was awesome. Anyway, February 15th, mm -hmm. uh, District 249 is a double CD release party with us and Hold On Hollywood. That's, that sounds terrible. I don't know why anybody would want to go to that. We're probably. I think I got to talk to Adrian about that, your boy. Yeah. Uh, the singer of your band, right? Yeah. He's coming up next. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. Um, can I just say, um, and do you mind? I know this is your show, and I'm just trying to, you know, make sure that I can plug something real quick. Is that okay with you? Um, I don't care what you think. Uh, February 18th, it'll be live everywhere. Apple, no, it's, it's not looking at him. You look at me. February me, this 18th, is my show? It's live everywhere. Uh, Spotify, Apple Music, all that. Uh, February 18th. Go. You know, if you would have given me a minute, I would have got to that. It's God, I really, I really hate doing this show. Let me tell you. Yeah, I mean, I think you do a terrible job at it, myself. Thank you. Yeah, me no. too. You're welcome, bro. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Can you just? Can I? Please? I'll shut up. I'm sorry. No, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. You can just, you can just leave. Okay. Later. Yeah. Yeah. Take it easy. All right. Now that we've gotten past all that. My name is Robin Banks. We're gonna go to a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back with the singer of the band, Mr. Adrian, and. I think that's it for this little section. It's good. I like it. It's got a nice sound. You don't think it's too noisy? No, 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 no. Not unless you live in a real small apartment. <laughs> no, I don't think so.
And we're back from the commercial break. I'm still your host to this day, Robin Banks, the man, the myth, the legend, the one and only. We are here with a second installment of the second episode of Between Two Symbols. We have the singer of the band, Mr. Adrian R.C. Dead Set Red, the one and only. Um, wow, this look is very familiar. I Yeah, but you said Robin Banks? Like yeah, I just realized like like you're kind of stealing money. Like that's that's funny. Definitely. It's ironic. It's De no, no, def definitely not. I'm not yeah. I'm not doing anything with any money. What do you stay on track, sir? Oh. Please. Yeah, I just uh I just wanted to put the thing I could find, so nice oh. flannel shirt, glasses, and uh you know, I'm trying to look fancy for the video, for the interview. Was it fancy or is it I don't understand? Fancy. Fancy. Oh, fancy. Fa oh. Like, you know, fancy. So f flannels and glasses are... I guess so. I don't know. Okay, you know what? Oh, you look great in them, though. I mean, well, I mean, you look great, too. <laughs> I mean, I was going to say you great, look... You got a great head of hair. Oh, so. thank you, brother. I grew it myself. Yeah. I grew it all by myself, you know? Look, <laughs> got a little bit of water, you know? And yeah. Yeah, I just kind of scrub it in. Dave Manny. Okay. Yeah, so what's up? Why, why are we here? Well, you tell me. You, you guys are, are are the stars of the show today, so I believe you guys have a release and a show coming up. You know, I talked to your drummer, uh, if we can call Chip, it drummer. Chubbs. Chubbs, Malone, yeah, yeah. Uh, the Post Malone knockoff. Um, he um, he was talking about your EP release coming out, uh, mm -hmm. Reason to Burn, and yeah. your singer, your single, not your singer, because you're the singer. Right. <laughs> your single, true. Matter of Time. I that try. is true. That yeah. is true. You try, you try. You don't succeed, but you do try. I'll tell you that much. All right. So, okay. um, I heard a, I heard a song or two, and I just uh, I don't even know why y'all are putting this out. But we're not wait, going to talk wait, about wait, that. Wait, wait. So, like you heard the stuff already? Uh, no, not what I even. Like who? Talk. Like which guy showed you this music? Or like it's supposed to be a secret? You guys got that one dude with a, with a really nice hair in the band. Um, he's cool. I, I like him. But he uh, he was he was he was drunk the other night, just showing everybody the stuff, and he's just pouring it all everywhere and. and well, we we fired him before. We're gonna have to fire him again. Oh, I guess. Wow. Uh, totally breaking breach news. Of contract. You heard it here first. They are losing. What does he, what does he play in the band? Um, if you look on our bio, it, 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 it says matter. he plays bass. That's his bio. Oh, well, of course he's getting fired. He's a bass player. <laughs> oh, gotta love it. Okay, so yeah. um, we're gonna talk about some important stuff, though. I think that we have to talk about because I'm ready to wrap this right, up. Right, right, right. Let's yeah. uh, you know, let's get Same. this over with. Uh, I've had enough time with you guys here already. Um, February fifteenth, you have a show. Right, right. You're playing yeah. with that other band that was on. The, uh, Hold on, Hollywood. Yeah, it's going to be uh, up in Tombow, District two forty nine. Mm -hmm. Oh and, yeah. Um, Sounds like a cool place. Uh, yeah, I've been there before. Oh, uh, you have? Yeah, it's great. Uh, we're we're going to be a we're going to we actually we're playing with uh, Alice Sauer and uh, the Steve Satchel band. Oh and, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to try to get Steve uh, and the and the guys on the show you sh yeah, next you week. Should. I think that's going to be really cool. You can see how uh, the first live interview from Steve Satchel himself. We're going to try to get that out here. Uh, he's a hard guy to get a hold of, but we're going to see about that. But uh, yeah, so what else can you tell me about the show, man? Uh, it's gonna be 21 and up, so uh, you know, just leave the <laughs> young ones at home. We're gonna get all kind of okay. fucked up. It's and, an adult party. Yeah. I love it to get an adult party. Yeah. Well, it's not gonna be that kind of adult party. Why the, like, why the fuck would anybody wanna go? You just look like you were thinking about it was that kind of party. It's not that kind yeah, of Yeah, I was kinda hoping it was that kind of party. That's what they told me. It was like an adult party. I thought, I bought like the whole suit and everything. <laughs> No, n y yeah, it's just, you know, grown-ups and, you know, drinking age people. So, that's what they mean by that. Well, no uh, sorely misinformed, but... Yeah, no uh, um, Can people get tickets anywhere, man? Is there anywhere they can go to, or is this yeah, like a the free only event? Place, or? The only place you can get them is at deadsetred.com. Oh, the only, the only place? Yeah, wow. as, as far as I know, it's the only place. So. I wouldn't expect them holding Hollywood dudes to have any on their website at all because probably they not. are so unprofessional. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Um, if they even have a website, it's probably some dumb stuff like holdonhollywood.com. Like, oh yeah, that's probably obvious. Like, hold on Hollywood, yeah. the name of their band. Oh wait, y'all was just dead set red huh? Yeah. Cut. You know, definitely wasn't dumb. Definitely, yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely not dumb. I didn't mean. <laughs> okay, I did. But you know, um, well, man, that's a. Uh, that sure is something you got going on there. What what made you decide to want to play with the Holden Hollow guys? I mean, why? What the f were you thinking? Um, I, I mean, don't know. Did you see them on the show last week? I. Oh yeah, yeah, I did. They yeah. were just. It was fun to watch. It was good. It's no. Like silly and. No, it was no, it was it was humiliating in some some parts. It was a train wreck. That's. 
It's like one of those I, you okay, can't look okay. away. Yeah, okay, look, I didn't, I didn't watch the whole thing. Like, I just watched the Good. beginning. No, no, I, you did yourself a favor. Yeah. Don't, don't. I, in fact, actually block the page. Block, block them from anything. Jesus, Lord. Yeah. <sighs> wow. Okay. Good advice, that boy. Good advice. So, Adrian, is there anything else that you would like to say before you end this um, yes. <laughs> interview? That, that that's it. That's all you want to say. You you said well, if there's anything I want to say, and like that's it. Well, I think that about does it for us here today. Um, we've got a another band on the show, and it's uh it's been dead set red. It's been, uh, sir, please, I'm talking right now. Just you know, clearing that up. Go ahead. We've got ready, set, go on the show, and it was. Uh, it was a really good time. Um, thanks for being here with us this week. We'll be back. I'm gonna try to get the one and only. Says, Please, can you stop touching the props? Can you just, can you, just? Why do I have this? Are you like a, Are you are you a child, man? Come no, on, dude. So you can they're find not even gonna let you. They're not even gonna let you into your own show. It's 21 and up, and you acting like this. Is this dude. for bodily fluids? It's not important what it's for, Adrian. Strange. It's not the 70s, bro. Look, now you're just messing everything up. Great, all right, my bad. All right, I'm out of here. Thank you. Why does everybody walk off before I even get to say bye? This happens every single week. I don't understand. I'm tired of this. This is getting ridiculous. Um, I Look, we'll be back next week, and I'm going to get the guys from the Steve Stoucher band on here. Steve has never been seen before in public. Um, somehow he does his shows, and, and no one even knows what the guy looks like. So we're going to have the first and only ever debut of Steve Satchel himself right here on Between Two Symbols. And I am beyond excited. So stay tuned for next week. We've got February 15th at issue 249. Hold a Hollywood, Dead Set Red, the Steve Satchel Band, and Atlas Hour. You can get tickets at deadsetred.com or holdonhollywood.com. He left that bit out, but I had it here in my notes. So thank you again very much, and we will see you guys next week on Between Two Symbols. I'm your host, Robin Banks, signing off. That's what the man? That's my one job, dude. My bad. I just wanted That's to do actually it. what I that's get what paid I, for. That's what I wanted to do the first time I saw it. It's my bad. Do it again. Try it again. Do it again. You just took the mu I just did the whole entire perfect speech and you just took it away from me. Sorry. Quit, man. <laughs>